We're here for a feast of athletics tonight. I'm your host, Dave Robbo. Joining me on the couch is Silas Mossy Moss. Mossy, are you pumped, mate? Oh, mate, I'm jumping out of my skin here, Robbo. There are three things, Robbo, when it comes to athletics. It's a very simple thing. Run, jump, chuck. Ah. Run, jump, chuck. You're already throwing it out there, have you? Well, I was going to say, is, is colouring dyeing your hair pink another one of them? It could well be. So. The events are fun. The atmosphere is great. It's got to be up there as one of my favourite events, not only in Australia, but in the world. Tell me, is there any other event you go to where you get to uh, arrive in a limo? <laughs> no, that's a rarity. <laughs> Hamish is already... Hamish is a Scottish name. Hamish is a Scottish name. You've already got the bit of the ginger locks going anyway. Yeah. But now, look at, just look down the, the, down the barrel for us. Get Mossy and Robbo to Glasgow. There you go. You heard it from the Scotsman himself. Can you say it in a Scottish accent? <laughs> I don't know about that. You'll have to work on it. Welcome back to the couch. Have a look at this tall timber that we've lugged in here. We've got Nick Boyick from Queensland. We've got Chris Dodd from New South Wales. Get Mossy and Robbo to Glasgow. Get Mosso, Mossy, oh, what do I say? <laughs> oh, no. Get Mossy and Robbo to Glasgow. Do it. Woo. Do it. Thanks, boys. It's, uh, it has Thank been an honour to be selected here Caitlin with our names on this steeplechase, well, uh, okay. especially from a fellow uh, like Dave Rundle, who has sponsored the, uh, the event, a fellow that I coached back some years ago. He looks like he needs a bit of coaching still, uh, Tony. He's still, he's still uh, tra trading, he's coaching advice. Uh, he has lost a little bit of weight over the last uh, six uh, yeah. months. So we're here, we're up out of the couch trackside and it's presentation time. I'm going to have a chat with the winner of the Manning Crichton 2000 metre men's steeple chase and it is the headbanded hero, Dylan Dudley, the flying ranger. Who's the... Hey, 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 thank you very much. Hey, hey, get him. Security, get him out of here. Give us those flowers. Thank you, thank you. Give us that microphone too. You held on. How was that one? Ah, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty tough. You know of names like Glynis Nunn, Jane Fleming. This is the next in the line. We're claiming it here from Newcastle, Georgetown. Uh, Sophie Stanwell, congratulations once again. There's one thing left for you to do. Get Mossy and Robbo to Glasgow. You heard her, folks. There you go. Thanks very much. You look good in that hat. You should race in that. She might race in this over in Glasgow. <laughs> Sonia, is it any uh, coincidence that we've got this Irish flag here on the couch? <laughs> Tell us about that. What happened? Well, you know, it, it, it didn't look right just seeing a little bit of white <laughs> beacon out there. So I thought we should make it, let everybody know what, what, what's here, you know. We've got the Irish flag. Well, if we, if we get an uh, Irish... Uh, uh, Irish athletes, they're very appreciative of coming out to Australia, enjoying the Good. fine weather out here, you know, and um, getting themselves ready for the European summer. Good. Well, if we get an Irish win tonight, I'm, I think you're going to have to go and present them with this flag <laughs> and they might have to do a victory lap with the Irish flag. The, Let's just call this the greatest ever hunter track classic coverage in the history of all of mankind.